am who I am. I never apologize for who I am. I just run out, have a good time. But at the same time, I do the work. I just, I do it with a smile. I do my work with a smile. I'm a lot more positive than I used to be. I think, you know, through the injuries and through some of the, the harder times, I got to a point where I was really negative and cynical. And um, even if I didn't show that to people, that's how I thought. I just had a pretty negative mindset. And, you know, life's not out to get you. That, that was my thing. It's like, there's the only thing really holding you down is yourself. And there's always going to be circumstances in anything that's you're not going to like. And um, it's going to be tough. But for me, it was just about taking myself outside my own shoes, figuring out what was a consistent problem, and that problem uh, was mostly me, I think it was just a mindset thing. I think that, that stemmed from having a lot of success and, and not too many hardships. You know, figures in my life, they can, they can try to teach me about it, but until you go through it yourself, you're like, you kind of have to figure it out for yourself. It is just about all the pieces coming together. You know, when it comes to uh, finding a, a training program that works for you, uh, you kind of find out what works for you and as I've gotten older and gotten stronger that's changed as well what I can do so you're always figuring that stuff out and uh, the same thing for me mentally I'm always getting stronger always learning I mean even six months ago a year ago I barely even remember who that guy was because I feel like I'm always I'm always progressing I'm always looking forward and so I think that's just the nature of the game it's just about putting all those pieces together and you have to be dialed in from all areas and uh, that's the that's the beautiful part of the sport is it's always you're always trying to figure it out and uh, I feel like I have a lot of those pieces uh, and then it just comes down to consistency and, and that's when you see that the race wins really start trickling in. Up until the point of the injuries, I kind of had everything going like super perfect for me and so it just made me it made me stronger in the sense of okay here's a problem let's overcome it let's figure out how to adapt and. You know, how do we get better and continue to move forward even though it's not perfect? Those things that happen repetitively, you know, can get doubtful a little bit, you know, and when it first happens, you go through the poor me, poor me, you know, like all that, and you just gotta wipe that out and say, all right, I'm good, I'll be okay, I'm, I'm gonna get better and I'm gonna do it again. You know, if you're gonna make it, you gotta put that in the past and look forward. Uh, both him and Kenny have been up at Santa Barbara. They've worked with Peter Park, and he seems like a great guy. They they love the program that he's got them on. Um, although we share the same trainer, we pretty much we do a lot of different stuff. Of course, we're going in the gym at the same time, and you know we'll ride bicycles together. But we're always doing a different workout. It's it's really personalized, and that's what I like about it. I mean, I have a lot of uh, unique things that need to be tailored to myself, you know. And I think it's been fun to work with somebody like Peter. That's uh, you know, willing to to hear me out and listen. <laughs> I think it's been really nice to have a program that's not just like a one-size-fits-all deal. I definitely can see the results. I'm 100% uh, the strongest I've ever been. <laughs> On the bike, Nick Way actually writes my program. He comes to the races with me as well and it's been huge for me. It's been huge. Obviously, he's been around for a really long time. He rode for my team uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, and uh, just really a knowledgeable guy. Really smart, hilarious dude, but um, so much knowledge, so much knowledge. And it, what's amazed me is, is how well he can communicate something to me. He can communicate something to me that nobody else really can. He knows exactly how I think, so um, I'm, I'm fortunate to have his knowledge in my corner. I think for me, a big part of my program is, is also is having fun. You know, I, I like to I like to talk to people. I like to talk smack to my friends and and, and keep it light. And I think if you really look at it, most careers we have about 15 years of, of racing, and um, there's no sense in going on a road bike ride and nobody having any fun. Like I'm I'm here to have a good time, baby. I will fake have fun until it until it just turns into a good time. So it, it's important for me to have fun and. Um, I certainly talk a lot. My friends would my friends would tell you that I talk a lot. It's he still acts like a kid. He would forget his shoes if they weren't on his feet. He I don't know how he can make it to the airport. He forgets everything constantly. They need checklists and they won't make a checklist because they forget the checklist. Like they just forget everything. 
I genuinely have a lot of fun all the time. I mean, it's pretty clear to see for most people, but I, I, have, a, I have a great time. <laughs>